Hi, welcome back to another episode on How to Hack. And today I'll be teaching you about how you can find holes in a computer system that can give you access and take over the entire computer completely. Don't believe me? Let's go. So in the session today, what we'll be learning is how we can scan a computer system for different kinds of services they're running and then looking for vulnerabilities in those systems. So looking for weaknesses in those services, they can then give us access to find exploits that are available, making sure that this computer system is susceptible to those attacks, which we can then utilize those exploits to give us access into the computer system. I will teach you about how you can do it quickly. So right in front of us, I have Linux running and I can go ahead and enter a terminal. All right, so I can zoom a little more so it's easier for you to see. So the first thing we can do is to go ahead and use MMAP to scan a specific computer so that we can find those services available and then looking for exploits that are in affiliation with those vulnerabilities so that we can exploit it and give us access into the entire computer system. So the first thing you can do, over here I have a Windows 10 computer running and I can go ahead and enter ipconfig and right here as I scroll up further, I can see the IPv4 address. So in this case, our target IP address is 192.168.0.186. So all I got to do right now is go under Nmap and enter 192.168.0.186. Hit enter on this and we'll begin the scanning using Nmap. So Nmap is a network mapping service that can help us investigate and probe a computer to check for services, check for versions, check for different types of accesses that we can perhaps even try to gain access into. All right, and the first thing you notice here is that the host seems down. If it is really up but blocking your ping probes, try dash pn, all right? So what is happening here is that there is a Windows firewall that is running, all right, which is a result of us being unable to complete a default scan. So all you gotta do now is enter dash capital pn, hit enter on this, and we'll now begin, all right, the scanning. And the address will be marked as up, and of course the scan time will take a little longer. And in this case, we can identify the following. All right, we have 135 as a port number. We have 139 as NetBIOS SSN, 445, 2869, as well as 3389. All right, so we can see all these different kinds of services that are open up. So what we can do next is to do an investigation about all the specific ports. And what I can tell you for sure is that because you are so familiar with the different types of services because of your background and network administration and system administration, you know, all right, without even further checking, that 139 and 445 are actually services associated with SMB, all right? So what is SMB? SMB is server message block. So it allows file sharing, literally. File printer sharing that's being enabled on computers. And a lot of computers actually have all right, SMB running in Windows computer particularly. As a result of that, there are potential weaknesses that you can try to exploit to gain access to it. So what I can do next is to find out the version of those particular services. So you can enter dash S followed by a capital V, hit enter on this, and it will try to help us find out specific versions in association with those services that are open in a host. All right, so right here, we can try to figure out what is going on in this particular computer. All right, so we have the following more detailed version of it, and we have the host name now, all right, and we have the windows, we have the work group information, and so on. So this gives us a more precise feedback about the kind of services that are actually open up. So what I can do next is to go ahead and start up Metasploit, which is our exploitation framework that would give us access into the entire computer system. All right, so I'll go ahead and enter sudo MSF console, hit enter on this, and I can enter my password. And once I load up Metasploit framework, we can then check the computer system to see if it's vulnerable to certain type of attacks. All right, so what I can do now is to go ahead and enter search, and then I can enter SMB, all right? So this is exactly what we're looking out for. So in this case, we have a lot of different kind of modules that we can run to check the computer system. All right, so we can screw all the way up and look at all these different methods that we can utilize as part of the hack. And we can see over here, we have exploits, we have auxiliary scanner and so on. So what I can, so what I can do next is teach you about how you can actually search more precisely in Metasploit. So what we can do now is enter grab, followed by scanner, full by search, SMB, hit enter on this, and it will just show us all those results that only contain scanner. And in this case, we can see auxiliary, scanner, and what we are doing now is to check whether this particular system is vulnerable to SMB attacks, all right? So here we have SMB MS17010. 
Do you remember back in the days when there was a huge outbreak of ransomware attacks? So they were utilizing this specific all right, scanning method as well as exploitation to gain access into the entire computer system. All right. So right here, what I can do next is go ahead all right, and enter use auxiliary scanner SMB SMB underscore MS 17010. Hit enter on this and enter show options. All right, so this will show us all the options that we have to key in as part of checking whether this specific computer can be vulnerable to this attack. So all I got to do now is enter set our hosts and the IP address that we're targeting 192.168.0.186. So you may have your own IP address as part of the attack. So once you're done right here, all you got to do is to go and hit enter run, hit enter on this and state the following scary stuff. Host is likely vulnerable to MS17010. So I'm going to pause here for a moment. And what we are trying to do right now so far is to scan the device for services they're running and also to look out for potential vulnerabilities that is associated with those services in the computer. Okay, and next is to find the exploit available so that we can gain direct access back to the computer, giving us full control of the entire computer system. Okay, so what I can do next is to go ahead, all right, and search for SMB. Okay, so we have SMB and we can look out for all those modules available with SMB. And of course, what we can do even better is to go ahead and enter grab. And now what we are trying to do is to look for exploits. So I grab exploits, search SMB, hit enter on this. And we have a number of exploits available for us to use and utilize as part of running the attack. All right, so all I can see here, screw up all the way back to the top. All right, so we have multi HTTP, Windows, SMB, and so on. And what we are trying to find here is a, an exploit that can help us launch an attack directly against this service. Exploit Windows SMB MS17010 Eternal Blue. All right, or you can also use exploit Windows SMB MS17010 PS EXEC. So I'll go ahead and select this, all right? Enter use, followed by exploit, paste selection, hit enter on this, okay? And we can enter show options. And right here, we have the number of options that we need to key in. So the main option is our host. So go ahead and enter the IP address. So this is the target machine that we're going after. So enter set our host 192.168.0.186, hit enter on this. So we have set the our host right now. And all we got to do right now is to go ahead and set a particular payload. All right, so we can enter set payload. You can double tap on this and it will show you all the available payloads that you can utilize as part of running the attack. Okay, so in this case, what I can do is enter set payload and we can use, say, for example, Windows slash and double tap on it and look at all the other possibilities that we can utilize. Okay, so in this case, we have Meterpreter. All right, so let's try to use Meterpreter for this case. All right, so we can use Windows Meterpreter double tap on it and see what else we got. And we can now use, for example, reverse underscore HTTP, hit enter on this, enter show options. And now we got to set the L host and L host has already been set for us. So that's great. Fantastic. A lot of automation on it. So all I got to do now is enter exploit and let's see what happens. Hit exploit on this and we can see right here, right now, we have the Metapro session one open, which means we are literally in. We have hacked into the computer system and we are now full control of the entire computer. I can enter sysinfo, hit enter on this, and we can see the system information inside the computer right now. I can enter help, and this will show us all the commands and instructions that we can send directly into the Windows computer. So what's next is I can migrate this shell that we have gotten, this material shell that we've gotten into a different process in which will then allow us to take a screen capture of the entire computer system. So all I'm gonna do now is enter, for example, Okay, PS to see all the lists of services inside the computer system. All right, and this will show us all the processes they're running and I can do enter migrate and we can migrate to say 4020, which is on OneDrive.exe. Okay, so I go ahead and hit enter on this because it is currently running as a user, which is Loy Liang Yang. So again, I'm hacking myself. So don't worry, I will not be hacking you. Go ahead and hit enter on this. And now we're migrating the process over. And right here, okay, once we've completed the migration, I can enter, all right, the following. I can enter screen, all right, followed by shot. Hit enter on this, and we will save a copy of the entire desktop screen to the following. All right, so I can go ahead and open up this file. All right, so I click on the top left corner, I open the folder, all right, and right here, I can see the file has been saved, and I can double click on it on the following. All right, we got this particular file that's been saved, double click on it, and right here we can see we're in. We have full control of the entire computer system. Isn't that scary? So you got to be really careful about what kind of services you have running inside all your computer systems.
So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.